Hey guys, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome to more Metroid Prime. Ah oh yeah. Okay, so, last part we got ourselves the wave beam, and it's time to explore more of the Fendrana Drifts. Oh my gosh. I still love this place. So, um, one thing to uh, keep an eye out for that I mentioned is that uh, Shigos will now uh, be all over the place um, compared to before. So it's good to keep an eye out, uh, just because they're not too much of a pain, but, you know, just, yeah, you're gonna see a lot more of them now. Right. Yeah. Oh boy. So let's, um, break these boxes. Come on, open it up, open it up, open it up. Right, so let's uh, go over here, and boosh, come on, alright, these things, now again, remember to scan those things, you don't want to forget to do that, and I'm really serious about that, you will not run across another one of those, but yeah, so, um, now that we have the double jump, as you know already, we can go past here. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Um, I went over here before, as you remember. Um, it's just I didn't have the wave beam yet, so I couldn't cross. But now I do, so we're good. Right, so here's more scarabs. Um, apparently they can handle both, um, I don't know, they can handle cold climate as well as the other thing. I'm not sure how that works, but, eh, whatever. Those scarabs. Mm. Let's climb up here. The game knew that I knew how to do that. <laughs> uh, well, guys, I kind of spoiled something neat. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to get a power-up um, later. <laughs> I didn't know it would do that. That's funny. Oh, man. Yeah, so this room you want to use the boost ball to activate those little things. Um, then those will open. Um, we're going to have to bomb that slot so that water will fill the area. Um, and we'll be doing some platforming after that. Right. Let's uh, do this. Come on. Bomb me up. There we go. Water's coming down, and it's coming down real fast. Yeah, now be careful not to screw this up, because then you'll, you know, kind of be back under the thing. Okay, that was close. I almost screwed that up. So yeah, if you get caught under the thing, you'll have to activate the switch again, which is a pain. Um, but yeah, let's um, missile this door here, which is a save room. So let's uh, save right here. Um, yeah. So we're going to be heading to a special area in this game that I don't like, um, but we'll be going there anyway. Uh, Gosh, I don't like this place. It's so darn dark there in later parts. Da, da, da. Okay. So located past this door is a space pirate fortress. Oh gosh. Okay. Welcome to these are shadow pirates. Come on. 
So shadow pirates will blend in with their surroundings on situation. Gabby? No. Oh my gosh, my dog. Sorry. Do you hear the clinking sounds as before? My dog. So, we're gonna have some space pirates to deal with. Make sure you scan these guys, so it's at this point that you can scan uh, space pirates. Um, because on the intro stage, you can't for some reason, even though they're a perfectly healthy one. Um, so make sure to do that, you know, so that you don't ever miss the space pirates, because you need them for 100%, just like every other creature. So, yeah. Um, one thing I love, love, love about the wave beam is it uh, not only stuns enemies, but it has homing properties, which is incredibly useful. So, just, yeah, I don't know, wave beam. It's, it's really good. Um, at later points in the game, it, it gets pretty tedious just how frequently you have to do the thing. Uh, that must be a shadow pirate. No? Oh, weird. I wonder why I couldn't lock onto him. Well, let's go through this door. Oh, it's a map. Oh yeah, I should... Have I scanned one of these already? I don't know. I don't know if I need to. I can't remember. Uh, well, I'll have to check into that after this, uh, thing. So, yeah. Let's move forward. So there are still some enemies in this room, for sure. Um, so let's try to take care of those. Um, come on. Yeah, if you shoot the turrets enough with the wave beam, they'll go berserk, so uh, watch out for that. You know, do better than I just did. <laughs> Ugh, that hurt. Yeah, come on, go that up. Yeah, right. So through the door, we continue forward. Yeah, now at this point, this place actually isn't that bad to travel through. Um, give or take, you know, a whole lot of enemies, but, um, at a later point, this place can be kind of tedious to travel through. Um, so I'm gonna try to get every power-up I can here, um, as soon as possible, because if I wait too long, I won't be a happy guy. Oh man, I love the Space Pirate battle theme, by the way. It's a brand new tune for this game. Um, because the Space Pirates had a different tune in Super Metroid, and this might be a remix of that tune. But I love this version, if it is. It's just so good. Alright, well, let's see. We got some computer monitors. Phase on fluid bath levels at 70%. Checking diagnostics per procedure, 12.03. So they're doing their experiments as usual. Ooh, I think they have some more. Space Pirate data has been downloaded to your logbook. Most terraforming and retrofitting of security checkpoints on blog 4 is complete. But we continue to research the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Door records show no unauthorized entries, so we must presume the creatures are either slipping in undetected during daily personnel moves, or else finding their way in through subterranean tunnels. We have found many small breaches of this latter sort and plug them wherever we can, but it is unlikely that we will ever achieve full extermination within our t current timetable. Hmm. We have codified the newfound energy source as Phazon, a V-index mutagen which we have very little reliable data. Indications point to a meteor of unknown origin impacting approximately 20 years ago, expelling Phazon into the environment. This material appears to possess lifelike characteristics, mutating organic life forms strong enough to withstand its poison. These mutations appear promising, with abrupt evolutionary leaps appearing in single generation reproduction. Plans to establish a full science team on Talon 4 are being finalized. Hmm. Alright. Mining operations have begun near the crater where Phazon appears to be most concentrated. 
daily phase on yields have increased 44% and our mining system becomes more streamlined as personnel and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of phase on induced madness have been reported, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline reassessment for the refinery of operation is recommended, as the material proves more unstable than initial analysis indicated. Madness, huh? Madness? Madness? I don't know. Underground relocation to Lab Hydra. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah. Okay. So, you know, the red ones are the only important ones. Um, but, you know, if you want to scan everything, you totally can. Um, I just don't see why you would want to. So, is that everything here? I'm just double checking, guys, because uh, there are some power ups around, and I don't want to miss any. I really don't. Because attempting some of these power ups, a specific one later, is a nightmare. So, I don't want to really have to deal with that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Just die. Just die. Just die. God. Okay. Okay. You can also only partially charge it if you want to keep them stunned for a long time and you find doing it full out won't be fast enough. Right. Let's um see, are any of these important? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Aha, so this is where. Oh, buzz off, Shadow Pirate. Come on. Just, just die. Yeah. Okay. Let's, um, check that. New pirate data entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Research outpost Glacier 1 in the Thendrana Drifts region of Talon 4's mountains is operating at 85% capacity. Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroid sluggish and easy to control. Even these well into phase on infusion cycles. Cold containment stasis tanks are sufficient for the juveniles, but some of the larger Metroids have been moved to quarantine caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue, as malfunctions due to ice occur every day. Large predators in the waste are also a concern, as they continue to kill personnel and breach secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot neutralize all of them without a vast increase in, mun in munitions and soldiers. 50% of all scans done. Oh, good. Okay. Our initial tests exposing to Lawn 4's indigenous parasites in Phazon appear to be successful. Increases in strength, size, and aggressiveness are common in all test subjects, as well as unforeseen evolutions like additional poison sacs within the abdomen and the appearance of a second ring of mandibles in several subjects. These creatures were chosen because of their resilience, and it appears possible that given enough exposure to Phazon, they may one day be able to survive on any planet we transport them to. Our methods will have to be refined. We currently have a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion period, and most survivors of the third infusion stage are so violent and unco uncontrollable that they have to be euthanized. Even still, we, rem we remain hopeful that further experimentation will result in success. Mm, that's no good. So they've been experimenting with Metroids using this Phazon substance that is shown to make creatures much more violent and whatnot. Mm, 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 that, that, that sounds pleasant. Okay, go away, you. I don't like you. That was almost a jump scare. <laughs> right. So yeah, in general, space pirates here, they're definitely up to no good with this phase on substance. Right. Come on. Oh man, I hope this part also doesn't get too long, guys. Um, I'm currently going through here. This combination of the dialogue, though, and me going through this area. There's no promises on the way. 
Um, I may take more than one part in this area. Whoa, okay. Way to blindside me, dude. Okay. Wow, way to shoot a whole lot of energy blasts at once, dude. Alright, you too, punk. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Come on, die. No, I don't want to do that. Sorry. I'm a bit frustrated. I'm a bit frustrated. Yep. And a puzzle will now open up in this room, I believe. So, yep. I think there are still a few more things for me to scan. So. Phase on mining is underway. Several garrisons have been established, and terraforming of the Chozo ruins is underway. Security systems are operational, and science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. The Fendrana Drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters, and soon it will be joined by a fully operational combat base and starport. If command's predictions are half true, we shall rise to dominance in this sector within a DECA cycle. Truly, these are glorious times. Hmm. Holograph sequence initialized. <clears throat> right, so here is yet another one of the glorious Metroid Prime puzzles. Oh yes, um, I do believe that I shall activate these puzzles. Sorry guys, I'm just being weird. Um, so yeah, you bomb these two slots. So just show the puzzle as it goes along. Oh, come on. Okay, so you need to jump up there, and then you need to jump up there, and then you need to jump up there. More fall bomb. And gone. Right. So now, as you see, there are boost ball, uh, ports there. So we're gonna have to interface with those, making sure I've scanned one of those. Right. Boop. Boosh. Right. Come on. Boosh. Boosh. Right. Boosh. 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 Right. Ooh. Yeah, no, so much lore, guys. Like, it's lore galore. You can kill me now. Actually, I'm sure you've killed me multiple times at this point. Alright. Scan this. Planet Zebus, mass 4.8 trillion teratrons. Profile planets crusted primarily earthic ore, making it ideal for subterranean construction. A-Class XIS, X. Planet Zebus is inhospitable to most bioforms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became a base for space pirate forces. Ah, Planet Zebus. So if you are unfamiliar with the Metroid series, or don't remember what Planet Zebus is, um, that is um, the world where Metroid 1, Super Metroid... Uh, yeah, Metroid 1 and Super Metroid are located. And it is also Samus's uh, world where she where she was raised by the Chozo. So pretty interesting. Twin tabula, mass 4.8, not important. Okay. What's that one? Research entry, Talon 4. Ecosystem studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to exposure to phase on radiation. At current rate of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren class 13 wasteland in approximately 25 years. Ugh. So 25 years from now and this place will be dead. That's fast. Ugh. 
Well, I don't know, I can't blame it. It's radiation and all that. Alright, well, let's collect uh, this thing first. Super missile acquired. Use this powerful attack, use this five missiles. So, okay, if you're wondering how super missiles work, um, I shall explain. In most games, it is a separate weapon, um, but in the Prime games, you hold down the charge button and then shoot with a missile. Boom. It is darn useful, it does a lot of damage. The only problem with it is that it uses about five missiles each. So uh, I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna call the part right about now. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys for watching and putting up with all this uh, lore reading. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love the lore in this game and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, learning more about it. So yeah, hope you have a good day. Bye.